How's it going guys? We are back in another video here and this video is going to be me predicting the next 10 next gen cards that we're going to get in HUT. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you not already, and let me know how stupid I am or how smart I might be. So, let's hop into the video now. Starting off the very obvious one, if Connor Bernard does not receive a next gen master set player item, uh, there will be a lot of people that are be very angry. There is no way Bernard is not getting a card here. Uh, he'll be an 87 overall, so I'll probably have, I'm guessing 89 speed, right? Let's see if, uh, was that, was that, would that be a speed upgrade? Uh, it, well, it might not be, which is crazy, but, but the team, it can be a custom build, the MSP, so, like, they can make Bedari 91 speed if they want, like, it doesn't really matter or anything like that, so, like, it, it's not a guaranteed plus one, right, to his card, so, we'll see what that card looks like, but Connor Bedari is 100% a lock, there's no question about it, uh, he's, he's one that you gotta just envision, he's gonna be there, I mean, if, if he's not, I mean, we're gonna be very disappointed, so, no question, Connor Bedari, and then next up on the list here, be Logan Cooley, I mean, Logan Cooley has to, get one he's not in the game right now like headshot wise so he can't have like a base card so Logan Coley they have to get him in the game even if he has no no headshot even if it's not like one of those actual next gen like art MSPs right he's gonna have one I mean Logan Coley's getting a card here there's there's just no way he doesn't uh, he's a, such a fun player to watch. 12 points in 18 games, pretty damn good too. So uh, to me, Logan Coley is going to be a very exciting one to use as well. Uh, he's a fun, fun, exciting player right now. And uh, to me, he's a guy that could certainly win the Calder or be a finalist. I mean, Bedard is probably going to win the Calder, let's be real. So, uh, But again, the, the, all these players, guys, they have to be pretty much eligible to win the Calder. That's kind of the whole thing with this. Like, this can't be like a 22-year-old player, right? It has to be a rookie. Carlson, Leo Carlson, I think, all also, very good chance he would get a card here. I mean, he would deserve it, no doubt about it. Uh, he's got eight points in 12 games played. He hasn't played every Ducks game. They kind of do like some, like, I guess, uh, rest or load management, right? They call it the NBA, right? But uh, I think Leo Carlson for sure. I mean, it'd be shocking if he didn't get one. Uh, I mean, he's, he most certainly deserves it. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see if that ends up, you know, coming to fruition. But uh, I'd be very shocked if uh, he did not get an MSP card, probably. Uh, again, there's no reason why he couldn't. I mean, I, I feel like he would deserve it for sure. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Leo Carlson would be a very super, uh, super cool card to have. But Juracek, I think there's a good chance he gets one here. 19 years old, rookie. He's playing a lot of games for Columbus. He's definitely a part of the next gen of really great young defensemen in the NHL. Uh, I think he'd be an awesome option. Blue Jackets not having a great year, but Juracek, I mean, he's still a young, exciting player. So, I mean, I, I think Juracek, uh, right-handed defenseman. You gotta have forward, you gotta have defense, you gotta have a goalie here as well, I'm gonna mention. Uh, to me, having having a little bit of everything is important because I'm not gonna just pick, you know, eight forwards out of ten, right? They're gonna have... They're going to have some defensemen here, too. So, uh, I think David, David Juracek's definitely a great option. Uh, and I think he'd be a really a lot of fun uh, to use as well. So, uh, he, he could be an interesting one. So, we'll see if they go with David Juracek. Up, we got Kevin Korchinski from the Chicago Blackhawks. So, uh, he's another one where... Uh, five points and six games defenseman, right? Awful team he's on. Uh, I think he's going to get a card. I mean, Korchinski is an unreal young defenseman here. Uh, one of the highest rated prospects probably going into the season. I mean, he's he's got a lot of talent, a lot of skill. You can tell. I mean, for a 19-year-old D-man, he's playing, you know, a pretty good amount of ice time as well. They're not really sheltering him too much, giving him a lot of responsibility. So seventh overall pick from literally just a year ago. So uh, he's, uh, he's very young. But I think he'd be a lot of fun to use uh, in Hut 6 1, 185, great size. I mean, he'd be, he'd be a good build. Another really good left handed defenseman. I mean, we can't, we can't stop getting good left handed defensemen. That's why hopefully Juracek gets a card because we need them. We need right handed defensemen. I mean, I guess Favor got one this week, but so many good left handed demon. Bobby Brink. I think Bobby Brink definitely could be one. Flyers have some good young players. I'd be surprised if they didn't get a card here in this event. Uh, probably breaks a small, small player here, 5'8", 166. However, he'll probably have good skating, you got to think. I mean, 81 speed on a 76, so that's pretty encouraging for that. Uh, but Bobby Brink, uh, very good, young, promising player for the Flyers. Uh, off to a, an okay start, I think, this year. Not really uh, anything too crazy. Uh, nine points in 14 games. Never mind, take it back. He's off to actually a really good start. Four goals so far. Again, he's, he's a young player. 
uh, 22 years old. But Bobby Brink, uh, he's, he's considered an NHL rookie as well, so he does count for this. He could win the Calder. So uh, Bobby Brink uh, is a guy that I think is certainly one that I could see them giving a card. Joel Hofer getting a card here too. You need to mention a goaltender. I think he'd be a great young goalie option here to choose from. Uh, he's had a pretty nice start to his young career. Uh, again, 6'5 goalie. I mean, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that MSP goalie. That's 6'5. There hasn't been any goalies that have really been that big that you could actually make like MSP wise so far. The Y, I think, is probably the biggest so far, which is 6'2, I want to say. So, really, not nothing nothing too crazy when it comes to, to bigger goaltenders. So, we'll see if uh, Hofer gets one. Uh, I'd be down. I'd, I'd make him probably give him a try. I mean, 87 overall, 6'5 goalie. I mean, sign me up. The abilities wouldn't even really matter that much. I'd uh, just be excited to try him out. So, Joel Hofer. For me, guys, uh, is, is one that I think it's certainly, certainly make it. Got Luke Evangelista here, six foot, 183 pounds, 21 years old. Again, considered an NHL rookie. Again, I I'm looking at the, the rookie leaders on NHL.com, all right, guys? That's a very important thing to know. So if, if some of these are wrong for whatever reason, don't blame me. I'm getting it from NHL.com's stats. But Luke Evangelista, uh, I think he could be a, a pretty fun one. Six foot, 183, 83 speed, and 80, 77 overall as well. So could have some great skating there uh, at an 87 overall if they... Uh, if he gets an MSP, that is 87. So we'll see. But Evangelista, I think it'd be a, a cool one. And, and I know Predators fans would be really, really happy to see that one. And then Will, Will Cooley here from the Rangers. Five points and 16 games played here. Uh, again, very young player here for the Rangers. And again, he could be a good one. 21 years old. Uh, he's he's six six three two ten. I mean, that'd be a sick build uh, for sure. I mean, he's got pretty decent skating, I believe. So we'll see if he ends up getting a card here. It probably would be more of the eighty five overall one. I doubt they'll give him an eighty seven because not really like a highly rated prospect. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, he could he could definitely get one. I would not be surprised at all. The Bruins Matthew. Poor Potris. I'm not sure I say his name exactly. Bruins fans, please correct me. I'm so sorry. I have not really, I've not heard his name pronounced yet. Or I think it's Portis. I'm not 100%. Or po Poitris. I'm not sure. Please, someone correct me. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I'm bad. So again, no offense to him or any Bruins fans. I apologize for slandering the name. But uh, he's eight points and four four goals so far, 17 games played. So he could be one potentially, right? Potentially maybe an 85. Uh, we'll see, but 19 years old, not expected to make it uh, this year to the Bruins roster, but uh, he could be one. And uh, I mean, that'd be cool. I'd be down for it. So let me know what you guys think of my predictions. If they're dumb, if they're off, who do you guys think the 10 are going to be? Because again, there was 10 this week. You had your 587s and then 585. So what players are you going to choose for, I guess this rookie event, you want to call it next gen event. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. And follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live here every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at three E's. And be sure to join my Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.